In this example, a hotspot search is carried out on a welded frame corner. Frame corners like this are found in the construction of ships. The FEMAP model consists mainly of flat plate elements. The edge length of the element depends on the thickness of the sheet metal. The structure is subjected to a fault on the ends of the frame. Here you can see the distortion and the stresses. For the netting, various properties were selected for the sheet metal as you can see here in the window Model Info. The different properties of the sheet metal are now used to search for welds. To do this, select the command Create Weld Groups from the Winlog menu. If necessary, you can give the weld group a starting number or a certain name. All elements are taken into consideration when the weld groups are created. Depending on the properties of the metal sheet, several different weld groups are created. The final element results are now exported. To do this, we use the WinLife FreeMap interface. The point Hotspots weld is selected. The stresses should be transformed automatically. Finally, an output file is defined for the export. Load case number one is to be exported. To select the elements, you can now use the weld groups previously created. In another dialog, weld nodes can also be selected individually, but we do not do that here. Then we start the export. This export can take several minutes and we have shortened the process for this video. As you can see by the arrows, the export sets the direction of the material for transforming the stresses. We now change over to WinLive and make a new project. The method settings have to be selected for the structure stress concept with a load case. And this N curve is created according to the FKN guidelines with the available material data. For the component class, we select 71, which means that all the welds are in this class. Next, the load histories are entered. For this load curve, here we select a pulsating load cycle. Now the finite element data is read in. We put in the load case resulting from the export and also the normal unit vector. The parameters for the calculation are selected. Generally, we take the standard settings. The mean stress influence is taken into account with an amplitude transformation. We want to take into consideration any possible residual. We select damage accumulation, modified form. And start the calculation. The maximum damage sum is 2.105. The neutral file which was created during the fatigue life calculation is now read into FEMAP. The damage sums for the weld seams are shown. 
the rares and the deformed areas on the top flange are under the greatest stress. The calculation should be carried out for these spots using the structure stress concept with a modified net. This table gives you a first impression of which deviations can occur in the damage sum between the hotspot search and the established structure stress concept. This is the answer of the example. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>